This is Michelle with Love to Inspire. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own custom clothing rack dividers. I use these in my store in order to separate the sizes of clothing, but you can use them all throughout your home. If you want to help your kids learn which clothes are for school and which clothes are for the weekend and playtime, you can put the divider in. If you run a shop like me, these are a great way to do it. I've looked them up online and they're a little bit more pricey than I want to pay. Plus they're very just utilitarian and plain. I prefer something with just a little bit more personality. So I'm going to show you how I make my own. Most of the supplies you have laying around at the house. So you won't have to go out and buy anything for this other than maybe the medium. So first and most importantly, we want to start with old CDs. You can use old computer programs, music that you're ashamed to even admit you listened to at one time, but you haven't in quite a long time, or maybe some computer games your kids have outgrown. Then you need a tracing utensil. You need a marker so you can label it. You need whatever paper that you want to use. You don't need to use anything that's really fancy or expensive. Even construction paper works great. You need a paintbrush. I prefer to use the smaller ones they don't soak up as much of the median, medium, so that way you're not wasting as much and they're a little bit easier to control. Then you need your decoupage. Now you can use Mod Podge, which is a great product, but I use this kind because I can get two of them for the price of one Mod Podge and it works just as good. So our first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our CD and we're gonna cut it with some craft scissors. These work better than your simple really cheap ones you can get so I use these now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors and cut right up to the middle just like that this is the perfect CD to use it's just the right thickness it didn't crack you will find some of the thinner cheaper ones might crack a little bit but that's okay because once we put the paper and the Mod Podge on it'll actually firm it up so don't worry about it now the rod I'm gonna be using to put these on is actually this size of this. So I need to cut this little center piece out. And again, I'm just gonna follow the little ridge that's already on the CD and just cut. Now you'll get to a point where it might be easier to work from the other side. That's okay, I do that. So whatever is the simplest and easiest for you to do. And there's the middle out. Now we're gonna go to the paper. I'm gonna be using this silver color because I've color coordinated my different clothing areas. Take my pencil and I'm just gonna trace around. I also want to make sure you get the middle and most importantly you want to make sure you trace the cut you made on the CD that way the paper is going to line up perfectly when you want to separate it to put it over your rod now we'll just cut our paper and I always do two at a time that way it saves me from having to trace again and cut again so two for the price of one get rid of that. Follow our line to cut right up to the center again. And there we go. This is where you would write on it. And then for time purposes, I have this one that I started. I just use a regular metallic marker for this. So that way it stood out really well. Um, and this is going to be for women's outerwear, but the sizes are going to be for small and medium. So that's going to be very simple. This one here is ready to go. So all you're going to do now is we're going to take our decoupage medium. And you can see I had a label on here and I really didn't like the way I did it, but it works the same as whether it's a plain CD or you've got a label. Just going to put your decoupage on. Just get a nice, even, thin layer. You don't need much. Just make sure you get it completely covered. Now that I've got it all on there, I'll line up the cut. 
so I can open it very easy. And now we want to put another layer, very thin, even layer, all the way across the top of the piece of paper. There we go. If you have any wrinkles, you can just push them out. Use your paintbrush and just run them to the edge. I don't mind it because it just gives it character. So with the extra mod hodge or decoupage medium I've got in my brush, I want to make sure I get all of the edges. That way I'm not going to have any peeling or lifting of the paper. Even on the inside. Now we're going to set that aside. It's great to just use the cap of the decoupage to let it dry because usually I'll do a bunch of these. And then this is one that I've done the first side. Well, now I need to do the second side. And you do it exactly the same way. Just a nice thin layer. Make sure you get all the way around it. And then I'll use this one here. Now we put our second thin layer. Got little pieces of the CD in there, but that's okay. Never be afraid to go back for more. It's always easier to add some, but the stuff is not cheap, so I prefer not to have to waste it. Again, I'm gonna make sure we get all of our edges with that extra bit that's on my paintbrush, all the way around. We're gonna set that aside and let that one dry. When you're done, you'll be left with this. So now when it's time to put it on the rod, you just separate it, slide it on. And the great part about it is no matter where it spins, everyone can see what the label says. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to showing you something next time. Thanks.